So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex when you're happy Monday! Guys, I'm back here today, and today I'm coming at you guys with a very awesome video, okay? The $100 beginner's guide for Yu-Gi-Oh! Today's video is gonna be super duper fun, and most importantly, informative, especially for those of you who are trying to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Some of you guys don't have an idea on what to buy. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys the best possible products to get with a $100 or less budget for those of you who are beginners in Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I'm at Dolly's. I'm basically here every single day. So if you guys are in Toronto, Scarborough, please visit Dolly's. And if you guys want to get any products, as always, dolly's.ca. And today, who am I with? Florence! The first thing I do, I come into Dolly's. I'm a beginner at Yu-Gi-Oh! My, my mom has given me a hundred Canadian dollars. The land of make-believe! Okay, let's spend on Yu-Gi-Oh! products. What would you recommend me to buy? Well, I'd probably, I'd probably recommend you the structure deck first. Okay. I wouldn't recommend really go for like the best structure deck or might be the strongest. I'd always recommend go play whatever archetype you like, right? So if you like blue eyes, you know, there's a deck just for that. For those of you who are starting the game, you guys are going to be casual players. You know what I mean? Casual players are the best type of players. And then from casuals, you evolve into a meta sheep. And once, <laughs> and once you're a meta sheep, you pretty much just take over the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And Yu-Gi-Oh! is basically your life, just like it's mine. All right guys, so the first category, we got casual. The number one deck that Lawrence and I will recommend is of course, Codebreaker. This is a very great product for you to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with. Super duper fun to play, especially those of you who are just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for fun. With a budget of only $10, you guys can actually get the Codebreaker uh, starter deck and actually just play one-on-one -on -one with your friends. Some of the notable reprints in this set is cards like Compulsory Evacuation Device. You got cards like Transcode Talker that's in this set. Link Kribo is in here, Link Spider is in here. Cards like Scapegoat is really good. Cards like Monster Reborn is also in here, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So it's a really good on the low budget for those of you who are literally just starting to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for fun. Uh, next one we got the, uh, the Kyber Structure deck. It's the revolution of the ABCs, all right? ABC Dragon Buster, one of the most iconic cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And this card's at three now, so if you literally buy three of these structure decks, you can literally play an ABC deck for fun and on a casual base level. If you have extra money, you can add other cards to make the deck a little bit more competitive, but everybody loves Kaiba, everybody loves Blue Eyes, everybody loves ABC, so that's another good option for you guys right now. The next structure deck I wanna talk about is Sacred Beast. A lot of people love Sacred Beast. Right, well, that's, that's what, yeah, that's my favorite, one of my favorite, one, favorite ones, man. Yeah, like Lawrence was saying earlier, guys, like when you're starting Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't have to play the best decks, all right? Play the decks that you like. And personally, I'm a huge fan of Sacred Beast. Lawrence is a huge fan of Sacred Beast. And we always recommend people to play whatever you guys like. At the end of the day, this structure deck is really good for its value. I think there's a lot of cool reprints in here, especially Pot of Desires. There's a lot of crazy cards, and especially the iconic Sacred Beast monsters are pretty, pretty insane. So I definitely recommend you guys on getting three of these. The wonderful thing about these structure decks is that they are inexpensive. Lawrence, how much do these deck cost? Um, a range? They, they range. Some of them, uh, some of them are about like 10, 10, 15. They can go up towards like $20. Usually you don't see structure decks get too much unless they're really, really old. But So usually with these casual stuff, you usually buy three and you can easily play with your friends, man. It's super duper fun. The next fan favorite, Saga of Blue Eyes White Dragon structure deck. This is amazing. I know there's a lot of Blue Eyes fans out there. Really, really great structure deck for you to get back into the game. I personally love this deck. The blue eyes cards in here is crazy. This structure deck was the first ever deck to release Azure Eyes, which is absolutely insane. So if you guys look through the deck, there are some crazy cards in here, like Dragon Shrine, Made in the Eyes of Blue. You got, of course, the blue eyes in there, it's Silver's Cry, a bunch of crazy Kaiba cards you guys can incorporate into your blue eyes deck. So this deck is absolutely insane. Boys, what's next? What is this? Uh, we have the yeah, Hero Strike Structure Deck. I personally love the Hero Strike Structure Deck. I think this Structure Deck is so, so good, especially with Mask Hero Dark Law. Some of the cool reprints in this set is cards like Pot of Duality. This is when Dark Law was first ever released. You guys all know how powerful Dark Law is. This is insane. This, this Structure Deck is ridiculous. We got the Mechanized Madness Structure Deck, and we also have one of the newest Structure Decks, actually, the uh, Freezing Chain Structure Deck. The Mechanized Madness Structure Deck is super duper awesome. Some of the crazy cool reprints in this set, which a lot of you guys need to get when it comes to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially long term, you need staples, right? In this set, cards like Psalm Strike is in here as a common rare. Well, common rare isn't a, a rarity, but it's, it's a common. And also, Freeze Chain Structure Deck cards like Phoenix Chain, Heavy Storm Duster is in here. And obviously, the reprints of Trishula, Dragging the Ice Bear, Bryonac, all these cool extra deck monsters you have access to. Remember, guys, always play what you love, don't play what's best, all right? 
play what you love. All right, guys, so before we move on to the next section on what to buy, Dolly's is actually hosting a quick giveaway. You guys see all of these? I'll be choosing six winners to get one of each structure deck. So you guys can have a chance to win structure deck freezing chains, mechanized madness, hero strike, saga blue eyes, Structure Deck Sacred Beast and Structure Deck Settle Kaiba. One of each will belong to you. All you guys gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow Dolly's on Instagram, all right guys? And leave a comment in the comment section below. That's pretty much it, and let's get on to the next section. Next session is my favorite. Lawrence, what is this section right here? Competitive players, so people who are looking, trying to build like uh, very competitive decks. So three Structure Decks I highly recommend for those of you who are starting to get in Yu-Gi-Oh! that want to win. Structure Deck Rocket Revolt. This deck is amazing. The reprints in here are insane. A bunch of extra deck monsters. You guys all know how Dragon Links are in today's metagame. It's ridiculous. Yeah, some of the cool cards in this set is Rocket Tracer. All right, you got Mirror Force reprint. You got Borlo Dragon reprint in here. You literally buy three of these, you pretty much have a good, solid, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh deck. The next one is also one of my favorites, Shadow Showdown. This structure deck is insane. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys have seen openings on these, but the structure deck is just ridiculous, all right? There are a bunch of extra deck monsters you have access to. Shadow Window, Construct, App Colone. This is one of the best decks to get to buy three and to actually win. Last but not least, you guys already know I love this deck. Lawrence, what deck is this? Dino Smashers Fury. My favorite deck of all time right now is Dinosaurs. All right, guys? This is also one of the decks that you can buy three, and you guys can actually play with this deck competitively. All you need to do is just, you know get a couple singles on the side to make the deck a little bit better. The next set that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a very important set that Konami has made, and I think it's a bridge between casual to competitive, which you guys must get when starting Yu-Gi-Oh! Lawrence, what do we got? Uh, we got the Dual Devastator box right over here. It's similar to the structure decks in the sense that you're guaranteed a set amount of cards, or cards that will really help your deck when you're trying to build it and improve upon it. Everything you need in here to make your deck a little bit better is in here. There are a bunch of hand traps in this set. Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Uh, you know, Ghost Spell, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Reaper, a bunch of crazy spell cards, Super Polymerization, Typhoon, literally everything is in Dual Devastator. And if there's one thing that I will highly recommend to make your casual or competitive deck better, it's definitely Dual Devastator. So don't forget about that set. This set is insane. All right, guys, now on to the last segment. For those of you who already ventured to the casual side of Yu-Gi-Oh, to the competitive side of Yu-Gi-Oh, what happens to those of you who just want to buy products for fun? What if you just have $100 to blow? What do you buy? This is our favorite part. If you've been watching the series for a long time, this is probably by far our favorite part. Here are some of the products I definitely recommend when it comes to just wanting to blow money on just opening packs. Because at the end of the day, New Girl is all about what? All about fun. And the joy from opening packs is undescribable. Like you guys, you, you need to feel it for yourself. A product that I highly recommend opening is Dual Overload. This set is insane. Christian Hockey Firebrax is in here. Predator Plant Bird Anaconda. A bunch of crazy, crazy reprint. This is one of the most renowned Yu-Gi-Oh sets of all time. You know, if you want to have fun and play with your friends, Legendary Hero decks are also pretty good as well. These are built-in construction decks. You know, you got Nordics, you got Heroes, and last but not least, you got Phantom Knights, which are really good decks in here. You guys can literally just sleeve these up, play against your friends. Really great deck to actually play. Maximum Gold is insane. I love this set. Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician reprint is in here. Really fun collector set, in my opinion. Also, Imperm is also in here as well, uh, which is actually really good. So you guys can blow money on this, and it's one of the products I highly recommend getting. Other collector stuff are Legendary Duelist sets. This is actually really, really good. I believe this is the best one. You know, Blue Eyes reprint, Kaiba. You guys already know Kaiba. He's a showstopper. This, he's the main man. He's the man himself. So this, this Legendary Duelist set is insane. Next, we got some older tins. If you guys want to collect older tins or want to just want to open tins for fun, you know, I recommend Yusei or Jaden Tin. Doesn't matter. All the Mega Tins are really, really good. Mega Tins are basically reprints of all the set released within that year. So this is, I believe, the 2018 Mega Tin. You know, if you guys want to have fun opening tins, these are really fun products to open. Last but not least, if you guys have uh, extra money or a little bit over $100, you guys can also get booster boxes as well. Booster box guarantee two secret rares, four ultra rares, and the rest are just super rares in here, which is actually pretty cool. You got Blazing Vortex, which is the latest booster box release. And then we got some Phantom Rage. It's all up to personal preference on what you like. At the end of the day, you have $100, you can spend on whatever products you want, but these are some of the products that we do recommend. All right, guys, to wrap up the video, you guys already know we love to open products here. Lawrence, you ready? I'm ready, man. All right, guys. Pretty good cards. Lawrence, yeah. come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you also get this. Ready? Five bucks if you guess what card it is. It's uh, the Dark Magicians. Yeah, Dark Magicians? Yeah. Five bucks, I said. Ooh, you lost five bucks. Start Dragon, baby. Come on, give me five bucks. Give me the five. You have the five? The five? 
Got a five? Thank you. All right, good luck, guys. Remember? Here, Michael, stiff. Stiff it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Giga Plant, Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Okay, Yuki, you know. Ooh, Buster Sword. Lawrence, what'd you get? What'd you get? Phantasme! Phantasme! Ujama Emperor. Oh, nothing there. But Phantasme is pretty good. All right, guys, remember, guys, this set's reprint is ridiculous, all right? The reprints in here are mod. All right! Dark Antillion Dragon. Casper. Okay. Some. Some. Ib. We got Ib. We got Ib. Okay, Lawrence. Got Chaos Goddess. What else? Oh, nothing. Yo, come on. Tagari or Anima? Which one do you want? Tagari. Tagari. All right, Tagari? All right. Guys, come on, come on, come on, guys. Let's have some fun here. Hollow Giants. Oh! 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 What did I tell you? How many times? What'd you get? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an Imperm. Imperm? In Ooh, Emerald. Wow, what's that? Guys, guys. I told you guys, this is the fun of opening packs. You see? You see what I just poked? This is like 30 bucks right here. 30 bucks. Cards of Faith and some more. This is a penny, this is the penny stock, guys. If you guys can get this and buy this, I, I would recommend you guys buying this out. It's penny stock. All right, guys, maximum gold. The golden Yu-Gi-Oh set. Ah, let's go, baby, come on. Ah, stiff gang. Stiff, stiff it, guys. Stiff it. Bro, this smells really good. Can you smell it? I can't smell it. Why? All right. Come on. Oh, straddles, baby! Ooh, Artifact Lancia. Apollosa 2. This is, guys, look at this. Tell me if these cards don't look beautiful. Guys, remember, this is a collector set too. So you guys should be collecting Dark Magicians and Blue Eyes and Red Eyes and all these sets, man. This is actually just beautiful, man, beautiful. Is that it? One more, one more. Okay, one more package? Yeah, yeah. All right, good luck, trade? Sure. All right. All right, guys, last pack of Destiny, here we go. Oh, man, you remember what happened last time you traded? White Stone of Ancients, good reprint. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! I'm upset. I'm upset. Wow, you guys see that? Oh, tour guide. Oh, super poly. Not that oh, bad. You know, I have better meta, but damn. This box is insane. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys love this video, smash the like and thumbs up button. Remember to enter the giveaway, guys. We're trying to get a lot of people involved in this game, especially beginners. And we encourage a lot of people to play this game as much as we love this game. So, you know what I mean? So, I'm out of breath. Oops. Expensive, is it? That's pretty much it. Lawrence, thank you so much for coming on here. Boom. No here we go. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, guys. And remember, enter the giveaway. All you guys gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, follow dollars on Instagram, and leave a comment in the comment section below on what made you get into the game. Okay, we wanna know all your comments. Leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna know your journey, you guys, so make sure you guys comment down below. And it's your boy Sam. And signing out. Alright, peace! this, I shall be victorious! Cyber Dragon Infinity arrives! It's over for you. Be sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.